Now we're going to study a few basics of walking bass lines. The first thing is you want to learn the arpeggio or the skeleton of the chord. So, for example, for G, you'd have root, third, fifth, octave. Or you can invert it by starting on your first finger, root, third, fifth, octave. Or play the octave here, root, third, fifth with my second finger, anticipating the octave down there. So you can simply play those for the chords. Those are nice, but can be boring after a while. The next thing is to add leading tones. That would be playing three notes in the measure, and the fourth note would lead into the next chord. So an example would be the root, third, fifth of a G, then a half step down, which leads into the root of a C. So it sounds like this. Another one is you can put the leading tone b below or above the root of the following chord. So an example would be, I started out the way I did, now a C. Now what I'm going to do is play a half step above the G and then slide down to the root. So that would sound like this. So you can add the leading tones anywhere you want. They don't have to be in between. Also, you can use the half steps as filler. An example would be, especially if I had two measures, so I had eight notes to work with, I start out the way I did. Now I have eight, eight notes. Now I have one more note to go. I'll go a half step above the C, and then down into the C chord. Like that. So that's a nice little filler. I'll just play that part. Okay, and then the last thing is, is that when you're playing these lines, you can also play within just the key itself. So in other words, I have G, and that's just adding the fourth note in between. So that's the root, the third, fourth note of the key, five. So now a C, that's just playing a C major scale off a of C. So it's combining those techniques. Another little trick I like to do is say I'm on the V chord, D7, I like to play the fifth, flat it, and then play a half step, a fifth backwards to lead into a C. It's a nice little pattern like this. So that would sound in context. I'll play a couple chords before. So that's a nice little trick too. Um, sometimes I, I even get crazy, I extend it even though the chords are changing, like if I'm on the D, and I just keep going with that, with that little line. So those are the basics of walking bass. First, learn the outline of the chord, and then after you do that, learn how to anticipate the chord one note before, a half step below or above the root, Learn fillers, learn how to play a shape like root third fifth and then play the notes in between like that. And then of course you can do root five, flat five, those are nice too. Those have a nice effect. So I hope that works.